an undisputed match nearly a year in the making is inching closer and closer. On one side sits Sinisa Estrada, 25-0, holds the fastest knockout in women's boxing history and has been virtually untested her entire career. But there are two sides to every fight, and the other champion took a very different road to get here. Yocasta Valle started her career on a roll. After building an 11-0 record, she was awarded a chance to fight for the inaugural IBF Adam Weight Championship, a fight she would win after a close 10-round split decision. Two fights later, she attempted to become a two-division world champion when she went up to light flyweight to face Naoko Fujioka. In enemy territory, Valle would come up short for the first time in her career and would see the vacant title claimed by her opponent. Dropping down in weight to 105, Valle again fought for a world title and again in the opponent's home country. This time in Germany against Tina Ruprecht, but just like the fight previous, she would come up short in a decision. Now 13-2, with back-to-back -back championship losses, Valle was in a difficult place in the world title landscape. She went back to Central America to build her record up, winning four straight with two KOs, before she was awarded another chance at a world title. But this time, she was brought in less as a real challenger and more as a boxer with former world champion attached to them to help build someone else's resume. And that was the plan for Joanna Pastrana. Attempting to defend her IBF minimum weight title for the third time, she was the heavy favorite. Seemingly brought in to roll over and lose, Valle had plans of her own. She flipped the script and won a split decision in Pastrana's home country of Spain. And since that one, a switch has been flipped in Valle. She defended the IBF title six times and then added the WBO before moving up and immediately winning two more at Super Flyweight. Now a three division world champion, she has returned to minimum weight with both the IBF and WBO belts and has her eyes set on two more. Valle and Estrada have been trading barbs for nearly a year now, although a fight has yet to materialize. But for both the potential participants and the fans, there seems to be an end in sight. After Estrada's most recent defense against Leonela Utica, Valle entered the ring with Estrada, and it got heated fast. Of course, I mean, I've already faced fighters who are better than your Costa Valle, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a beating when I fight her. You can actually come down to Costa Rica because I fill stadiums, not theaters, so let's get this on. It seems that we're finally gonna get these two in the ring, but this time, both wearing gloves. Obviously, priority one for Estrada is recovering from hand surgery. Number two should be solidifying an undisputed bout. Obviously, priority one for Valle is making sure she defends her belts in November so she can bring her titles to this potential bout. But as soon as those obstacles are cleared, there shouldn't be another fight for either of them that isn't against each other. Valle's path to the top of her division hasn't been the most traditional and definitely not the smoothest. From the edge of becoming just another decent resume lost in the shuffle to being a three division champion. Valle has potential to become the first ever minimum weight four belt undisputed champion.